Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys high-end skin retouching with just using my actions and the image I'm going to be using is taken by GMAX Studios. He is also a fellow YouTuber who creates content that is about skin retouching, Photoshop and some behind the scenes. So I'm going to link his YouTube channel in the description of this video so you guys can check him out. So let's kick in and we start learning about skin retouching. Remember skin retouching is more of having nice transitions within the skin tones of an image and removing those skin imperfections like the blemishes so i also learned a technique from gmax studios where where you can notice maybe where to even out or where to blend when you're trying to use frequency separation and that i'm going to be sharing it in this very tutorial so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be using my actions like i said and those interested in my skin retouching essentials pack you can check out the link in the description of this video. Some are still on a discount and others are not on a discount. For example, my skin tone lights. So I have one on the discount and the other which is not on a discount. So that is enough for my lights and my retouching essentials pack. So the link is going to be in the description of this very video. So I'm just going to come to my actions and I'm going to play my frequency separation 8-bit action so this is my 8-bit action since this is an 8-bit image so i'm just going to select it and play it and for the radius you have to move this radius up to a point when you're losing out on the prominent details so you have to stop at that very point when you're starting to lose out on the details of an image so i'm just going to move the radius like that up to that very point so when you start losing out the details that is why you have to stop and simply hit ok and my action is going to continue playing so for this case i'm just going to delete the black and white because the technique i'm going to be showing you guys in this tutorial doesn't require a black and white if at all you had been using the black and white as your whole player in this tutorial we are, we are just going to be using the mixer brush tool and these layers so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come under the brushes and get the mixer brush tool. And for the settings, I'm going to make sure it is a clean brush. So I select the second option right here because I don't want the brush to carry color from one area to another. So I want the brush to be cleaned every single time I'm trying to blend or even out the skin tones of an image. Wetness, I'm going to be using a wetness of 9, load 75, mix 90, flow 100%. And this is going to be at 10%. Make sure your sample all layers is not checked because we only want to deal with the colors or the skin tones of an image. Then I'm going to come and the technique he uses, he turns off the textures. When you turn off the textures of an image, you're going to be able to notice every area that has uneven skin tones in your images. So you can see those uneven skin tone transitions right here on the forehead. So that is what we're going to be blending using a mixer brush tool. Reduce on the size by using the box brackets on the keyboard. So the left box reduces on the size and the right one, the right box bracket increases on the size. And you can zoom in by using Ctrl plus or Command plus. So I'm just going to start blending. So as you're blending, make sure you blend the skin tones the way they are. Okay, let me repeat this. When you're trying to blend or even out the skin tones, make sure you blend them uh, in their kind of similarity. That's what I meant to say. So just blend that. So I have a highlight. I'm just going to blend it like that. And you can see this is really showing the effect in real time. So he used the same technique for this very image on his channel when he was trying to uh, do the skin retouching. So I'm just going to come in even out these tones and the way i'm moving the mixer brush tool is the way light has fallen on that particular area so i'm not moving a uh, color from one area to another i'm just making sure that i remain within the borders or the boundaries of uh, that specific area according to skin tone or the colors in that particular area so just going to come and even out this so let's turn back this on and we see what we have done so far this is the before and after before after you can see 
what we have just done with just a few strokes of a Mr. Brush tool. So we are going to be doing the same procedure for uh, the rest of uh, this image. So come and harmonize or blend these areas just like that. And come this side and blend this kind of mid-tones or I could call it a highlight. Just blend the colors the way you're looking at them in real time after turning off the texture layer. So just do this and you can see that it is doing or affecting the image in real time. So just do that uh, for the overall image. So reduce on the size depending on the area you're trying to blend or even now the skin tones at. So I'm just going to come and I blend these other areas. So make sure you blend every single area in the image and you don't leave out any area untouched. So make sure you take your time while you're doing this because uh, people may take us to be maybe careless retouchers. Every single time we are careless with uh, the retouching process. So just come and blend like that to get rid of those skin tone inconsistencies in the image. So come to the chin area and just harmonize and even out those tones. For example, on the chin area, just like that. So you can see if at all I come back and I turn on the texture layer and I show you guys what we have just done with just a few strokes of a mixer brush tool. You can see a before, after, before, after. This is really an effective technique. So as you can see, I have not yet worked on the nose area. So we're just going to come back and work on that in a bit. So come back, reduce on the size. And you can come and blend this area because it seems to have shadows. I hope you can see that I'm just trying to blend and harmonize the shadows in this case just like that and come to this other side and also blend the shadows right here I hope you can see what it is uh, creating out of this image and we have uniform colors or skin tones every single area we are passing the mixer brush tool so you have to be careful and remain within the bo borders or boundaries so like I have a highlight right here. I'm just going to come and blend that highlight just like that to retain the original shape of uh, the model's nose because I don't want to distort anything or the original features of the model's face when I'm doing skin retouching. Remember, you have to leave the image looking as natural as possible when you're trying to do the skin retouching. So let's just do this and just harmonize these uneven tones right there then come and harmonize the highlight just like that all that beautiful rim light so you have to keep on checking on your progress every single time you're trying to do a skin retouching on your images so i'm just trying to spot or look around for those areas that have uneven tones uh, in the skin of the image so just going to turn this back on and we see what uh, we have so far so this is the before after before after you can see that we have been able to retain the original skin textures while using the mixer brush tool to even out the tones in the image so i'm just going to continue doing this because i feel like on the chin area we haven't done a pretty nice job so i'm just going to come and harmonize these tones so that i can have a nice transition so after using a mixer brush tool we could as well opt for the second technique to fine-tune the area so remember skin retouching is more of enhancing every single detail in the image so we have to come to the other parts of the body and we try to even out uh, those transitions just like that and I hope that we are doing a pretty nice job and don't forget to check out my actions because these are going to speed up your skin retouching process and you don't have to go over creating uh, those layers for uh, doing your frequency separation so i'm basically trying to use the mixer brush tool to blend or even out the skin tones in this image so that we can have 
a nice transition and you can see me increasing and decreasing on the size of the mixer brush tool depending on the area I'm trying to work on so you always have to do that by using the box brackets on the keyboard in order to have or be precise every single time you're trying to blend or have transitions that are nice within the skin tones of the images that you're trying to work on so just be careful and don't slide from the image remain within the skin tones of the image and you don't have to blend uh, or mix the hair area so you can see that we have worked on this area so let's turn back this on and we see what we have done on the bottom part of the model's body so this is a before after before after you can come and work again so you are now going to work on the model's hand or fingers and using this te same technique you're just going to come and continue evening out the skin tones just like that and i hope you can see that uh, this is really working in real time because every single area you blend or try to mix is going to be having those nice colors and uniformity added to it so let's just do that and i think uh, this looks nice right now so let's just blend right there so we are going to turn this back and turn all on the texture layer so you can see the before after before after so the next thing is going to be fine tuning this very image using the second technique that is the lasso tool method so make sure the feathering is around 22 pixels because when your feathering is below that you're going to be having rough edges from the selection of the skin area and how we use this technique we are simply going to make sure that we are still on the low frequency layer zoom in and now come back and now make a selection on the skin area just like that so you have to keep away from maybe the eyebrows and uh, the hair of the model just come and do that so select only the skin area just like that so come back to filter and come to blur and come to gush and blur and now you have to move this up to a point when you feel like the texture is enough for you so depending on your taste and preference i'm just going to move this and you shouldn't cram these figures anyway so i think right there i'm okay and i'm just going to simply hit okay and i'm going to be applying that to the overall image so make a shape the way light is falling on a particular area right click and come to gaussian blur and i'm just going to be applying that onto the rest of the image and every time you feel like the effect is too much you can reduce on that effect by simply using shift ctrl f or shift command f or you can simply right click on the selection and you fade or reduce uh, the opacity of uh, the Gaussian blur on the image so that is how we use this technique so I'm just going to do this and the next step is going to be cleaning up or removing the blemishes and skin imperfections from this image before we can do the color grading process and maybe uh, the eye whitening for this uh, very model and we could as well do a background change yeah the change in the color of the background of this very image so let's just zoom out and we see what we have so far so this is the image before after before after and i hope you guys love the results so far so the next thing is going to be removing the blemishes or skin imperfections and that is part of the high frequency layer so come and select the high frequency layer and come and get the clone sample so you can use whichever tool you want and make sure sampling is on, on the current layer opacity and the flow at 100 and now you have to zoom into the image and look for those blemishes reduce on the size by using the box brackets on the keyboard hold down the alternate yeah close to the blemish that you want to eliminate alternate left click and simply click over the blemish that you want to get rid of in your image so make sure you do that for most of the blemishes in the image so i'm just going to do this quick because i don't want you guys to spend a long time on this very tutorial so i'm just going to clean up 
or remove these blemishes by using uh, the clone stamp tool to uh, fine tune or clean up or remove the blemishes from uh, this very nice image by GMAX Studio. So let's just clean up this. And I think uh, the model really doesn't have a bad skin, I should say. So let's just continue uh, removing all the skin imperfections using the clone stamp tool. And when we're done doing that, the next thing, like I said, is going to be uh, doing the color grading of the skin tones of this very image. So make sure you stick around as we do that. And you're going to be benefiting from this technique that I'm going to be using for this very image. So let's just see what we have so far. So you have to take your time while removing the blemishes. But I'm just trying my best to be fast in this very tutorial. So let's see the before and after. So this is the before, after, before, after. So the next thing that I would love to do is doing the color grading process. And in order to color grade, I'm just going to come to uh, my adjustments and create a black and white adjustment layer because I feel like the image lacks contrast. And after doing that, I'm just going to change the blend mode to uh, multiply just like that. And you can see the image has that nice and beautiful contrast. I'm going to come and reduce on the opacity of uh, the effect just like that. And you can see that the image has now come back to life before, after, before, after. And the next thing I'm going to do is coming to selective color and coming to my reds and simply uh, reducing on the amount of the magentas in this image slightly to around negative 5. And I'm going to come to my blacks and simply intensify on the blacks in the image and come to my brightness and contrast and simply push in or add in contrast to this very image and I'm going to brighten up the image a little bit more so let's see the before and after so this is the before and after so far for this very image so the next thing is going to be doing the eye whitening so I'm just going to create a stamp visible layer for all we have done by hitting shift alternate command E on the keyboard and I'm going to come to my actions and I'm going to come and play my eye and teeth whitening action. So when that plays, I'm just going to come to the brushes, right click and come and get the brush tool. Opacity in the floor at 100 and since I'm going to be painting over a white mask, I'm just going to get black on top and make sure I zoom in on the eye area and just paint over on the white area just like this to just whiten that white area in the eye just like that and i hope you can see that it is whitening the eyes in the most natural way possible and it is not making the eye blue in color so you can see that this is very nice and beautiful so let's zoom out and we see uh, oh we have a look at this very image so this is the before and after and the eyes have really gotten a different look. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to create another stamp visible layer by hitting Shift Alternate Command E on the keyboard or Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard and create another stamp visible layer. And I'm going to come to my Hue and Saturation Adjustment layer and get this Hand Picker tool and click on this color and it's going to target the blues. So I could just hue the blues depending on the color I'm trying to go in for. And I think I love this color right here. And I'm just going to turn down the lightness so that my model can stand out even more. So I think uh, that looks fine and beautiful. And I could slightly reduce on the contrast and I think that looks fine. So let's see the before and after for the skin retouching and color grading. This is the before, after, before, after. So the next thing is going to be exporting this image the best way possible so that it doesn't change in color after we have been able to export it and we have a sharp image. So we're just going to come to file, export and come to export as and when you come to export as you're going to get back this window right here and it's going to open for you. So for the format make sure you select JPEG as your format and resampling if at all you want a sharper image come and select by cubic sharper. And in order to avoid having issues of color change after you have been able to export your image, come and select
convert sRGB and also embed the color profile and simply hit export after that and look for a location where you want your image to be saved so I'm just going to rename this uh, to the owner of the image that is gmax and I'm going to hit export or save to save the image so this has been a tutorial about how to do skin retouching and color grading in Photoshop and if at all you have loved this this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching I'll see you in yet another tutorial and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating